Hi everyone, welcome uh, to uh, the uh, Dynamic Data and uh, Capabilities Working Group. Uh, this is the May, May 1st, 2018 meeting. Um, so uh, we're going to start off, uh, just two of us today, we're going to start off with, well, I'm going to take notes, I can take notes later. Uh, so no need for anyone to take notes. Um, everyone, me and Gonzalo, uh, have put uh, the notes, the weekly updates. We could just do a quick round of intros and, and updates. Gonzalo, you want to go first? Sounds good. Yeah, sure. So first of all, this is my first uh, weekly meeting on 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 the dynamic data uh, capability. So uh, hello, everybody. <laughs> my name is Gonzalo. I've been um, I've been quite interesting uh, interested on CRDTs and and other uh, interesting dynamic data types. So I've been hanging around on, on, on GitHub, uh, checking what's up, and I picked up this one um, issue to explain the JSON CRDT paper, so like the, the, the classic uh, conflict-free replicated JSON data type by uh, Martin Klepman. So there's already a pull request open with some of the sort of a structure of the whole uh, work and, and, and some comments by me, also Pedro had Put some com comments in. Thank you so much for that. So, if everyone wants to, if anyone wants to chip in, please, please go ahead and 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 add more content or let's discuss on what to get, how to get this forward, so that it's easy, easier at least for everyone to get into what CRDT JSON is all about. So, no blockers. Uh, this next week, I'll be keep working on this. Hopefully, get it to a state when we can just, you know, sort of polish the edges. Um, and, and I guess that's pretty much for me at this moment. Yeah, thank you, Gosal. Uh, just just one quick intro to what JSON CRDTs are. Mm -hmm. Gosal, you want to just, just do a quick, quick update so people that don't know about JSON CRDTs can um, get a feeling of what, what it's useful for? Uh, sure, sure. So uh, JSON CRDT is pretty much a sort of an algorithm, a data, data structure in which uh, it's really easy to, to have it uh, in a replicated way and, and whenever there are uh, operations or changes, uh, local changes in this, uh, this JSON uh, document, uh, it's really easy to um, just broadcast those changes to every node in, in, in the network uh, and, and, and those uh, changes can be easily merged into uh, the node's local, local data structure in a way that there is no conflict whatsoever. So it's really handy for uh, conflict-free consensus on what or or on on, on JSON or on a JSON document within uh, different peers. So there's there's quite many interesting things about it. I'm I'm working on the version in which uses uh, each each uh, edit uh, change mutation on the on on the local replica will generate an operation, and that that's the operation in which going to be broadcasted uh, throughout the network. So yeah, that's that's. Pretty much the basic basic idea it has, uh, as any other JSON, uh, the registers, uh, the arrays, and maps data types. So all on uh, sort of a CRDT, uh, conflict-free uh, sort of a algorithm behind it. So so yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. I hope I was not too confusing. No, it was very clear. Uh, one thing okay. that I understand from from JSON CRDTs uh, mm -hmm. is that it, it um, tries to keep intention. So like if you do, for instance, there's a map within a map within a map and you change A dot B dot C and concurrently someone changes A dot B to something else mm -hmm. um, you, and a way to solve that conflict in a way that is, well, at least more intuitive than, than, than with, for instance, if, like I think like a, a use case would be if someone changes the there is an array with maps, for instance, and the mm -hmm. position. I'm saying uh, I'm changing a uh, key, a certain key on the f on the map on the first position of the array, and someone concurrently adds a new entry on the first position. And how the CRDT solves that in in a way that is uh, coherent to what people are used to in the language, right? Yes. Yeah, that, that that's a, a really good point. So exactly, that's what the CRDT. JSON in this case offers is, is a way to automatically merge those 
and in, in some points um, somehow opinionated on how to get those different changes, concurrent changes together in a way that there's no conflict. And for instance, one good example also is on the registry uh, type. So let's say there, there's a value uh, in which is changed. So not, not an array, not an, a map, but rather sort of a, a leaf. A leaf of the, of the, the document is changed uh, simultaneously by two people or two nodes. Uh, those are usually um, kept. Well, let's say that uh, there's, there is... Um, how can I, uh, so A dot B dot C, and this C, it's equal to two. So it's an integer equal to two. It's a leaf of the, of, the, of the whole document. If I change that C to three and someone else changes that C to uh, four concurrently, and then we try to merge our versions, it will act actually, one of the actions is to keep both of the registers. Although it's, it's an int, it will keep both in an array so that, uh, because there's really no, no other way to, to sort of emerge this conflict. And, and so there's this, all, all these interesting things behind it. And, and yeah, the, on the application level, there are some, still some decisions to make sure that, that things work well. And this is one of the, those examples, but I think overall it seems a super solid way to, to, to sort of a, keep a replicated JSON data type in which everyone sort of a, can be sure that eventually uh, get 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 everyone on the same page in terms of what the JSON looks like. Yeah, uh, uh, that that look what you described looks like a multi-value register where, where yeah, exactly yeah. yeah well to the two, two values emerge if there's a conflict both values emerge much like React or DynamoDB mm -hmm. and the application has to decide what whatever to do with pretty much that yeah with that yeah makes makes sense um, cool thank you for the explanation oh also I think you have um, a repo that you're working on, right? Uh, uh, yes, I have. I've been trying to. So I read this. Uh, uh, started reading this article actually after the FOSDEM this year. So I got a bit quite into it. So I started to um, to work on a GoLang implementation of this uh, JSON CRDT, uh, the pretty much as is from the. From, from the paper, so I can also share, share on the chat or even on the peer pad if anyone wants to take a look at it, that would be cool as well. Yes, yes, please, please share. Um, cool. So I guess I can go ahead now for my, for my update. So um, in terms of this working group, I've been uh, diving into, much like two weeks ago, Delta CRDTs, which are state-based a flavor of state-based uh, CRDTs. And I've been diving to the paper and I've, I've understood everything, kind of I've explained that in, in a, uh, an issue on research CRDT repo. And, but I've bumped into this, uh, trying to really understand into it uh, how causal uh, dependencies are kept, so, or how uh, uh, causality is kept inside uh, the Delta CRDT, um, which is kind of, kind of complex. So I decided to start implementing it in JavaScript. And there's a repo I've just linked, which is uh, JS Delta CRDTs on IPFS uh, Shipyard organization on GitHub, which I linked in, in, um, in, in the, the grid pad. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm working. So I've created already gone through three basic types uh, of uh, database CRDTs, and now I'm going to dive into a type that requires um, uh, causality to be inserted into the state. So causality is like, like to explain what the intention was, uh, meaning that uh, what was the state of my local state before I issued that uh, operation. And with the added complexity that state-based CRDTs do not talk about operations, they only talk about state. In this case, they talk about uh, parts of the state, which, is, which are deltas. So it, it complicates uh, matters uh, further because while on operation-based CRDTs, you could always say which was the operation that preceded that, that one operation. So you can have a causal tree on, uh, on your side. Here uh, is you, you, you kind of reference the whole state. So the whole state is the cause of the, the, the current. And there's no operation. There is just a delta. Uh, and deltas can be also, they, are, uh, they form a... Um, a CRDT in itself, so they can be joined, uh, and and I'm trying to work work that out, and so hopefully in two weeks 
I'll have the whole thing at least be able to explain clearly what uh, uh, how the causality in in and delta CRDTs works alongside with the JavaScript implementation, much like the pure CRDT uh, works for operation-based CRDTs. This one will will try uh, and uh, expose uh, the well, create some. Uh, referential types for delta-based uh, CRDTs. Um, and that's, I think that's, that's it for my update. Cool. Thank cool. Um, have any questions, Gonzalo? Any? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Thanks cool. for the updates. Sounds like a quite interesting thing to, to be diving into as well. If you need any help, let, let me know and, or, or let's yeah, keep in touch. Yeah, I've, I've, I've t uh, kept in, uh, I, I tried to get some help from, from the authors also, and they pointed me to a, a repo that, that has a C++ implementation of Delta-based CRDTs. Um, so I have to uh, get my C++ chops uh, out of the, the suitcase, and, and I already did um, diving into that. Um, but, but yeah, I, I mean, uh, it's always it's always good to have more eyes on on that. The first the first goal will be to have like an intuition of how causality works on on that, yeah. and and then I'll be able to explain that to everyone, uh, hopefully, and and then then you, you can good. apply terrible JavaScript <laughs> and <laughs> and say that's all wrong. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, um, so if there are no questions, I'm going to close this one. Um, Thank you for joining us all and uh, see you in two weeks, hopefully. Sure, sounds good. All right, all right. Let's bye keep bye. In touch. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.